What's good, YouTube? What, y'all thought y'all wasn't gonna see me tonight? Come on now, check this out. So tonight, we're gonna talk about the Matrix. Uh, simulation. Uh, it is what it is. It has many names to each his own. But I'm gonna break down the Matrix for y'all, for those that keep asking me, well, what do you mean? Well, what do you mean? Well, what is this? Where are we? Listen, we were told we were on, we were told we were in, we were told we were on a planet. Let me fill y'all in on a little something. They told y'all that it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, non-stop. If they didn't tell you that, you still seen it rain one hour straight, non-stop. Here's the kicker. Even if it rained for three minutes, non-stop. Where did it come from? I'm not asking the question. I'm just trying to open y'all up. Rain is not uh, produced in the so-called storm. It's not produced in the clouds. They mask the rain with the storm, the gray looking clouds, the dark clouds, the thunder, the lightning. So while it's doing all of that, you're not focused on where the water is coming from. When I was a young buck, I sat on my, y'all remember growing up, you wasn't allowed to go down the street. You wasn't, you had to be in when the street lights come on. Some of y'all, some of y'all lived in the country your whole life. Uh, that's a beautiful place to live by way, the country. I grew up in the boondocks. That's what we called it. It was it was no it wasn't city. I didn't have a city life growing up. Boondocks. We had bushes surrounded by basically an American jungle. I was surrounded by an American jungle. Wildlife. Sat on a dead end street. Watch the rain come up the street. Let me say that again. Watch the rain come up the street. The kicker, not a cloud in the sky. Pretty blue skies as above, so below the ocean. Pretty blue skies. The ocean was beautiful up there. The rain came up the street. You could see the rain, it was dry. We all stand up there. People don't wax their cars. They all clean. Rain coming up the street. All the old heads, they waxing their cars with turtle wax. They can't even believe what they seen. Everybody got on nice gear. It's like 90 degrees outside. Here come this big trail of rain. And they looking like, what? And it left. It stopped. It just It was just a, to the right to the left, to the left, to the right. There was no rain. Just in that 12 uh, foot wide trail of rain coming up the road. No rain on either side. My grandmother had clothes hanging up in the yard. They never got wet. The house never got wet. All the houses there just came. It, just, it was perfectly fitted to come up between the road. Hit the trees and then it stopped. But I'm talking three minute rain. It could take, it could rain for three minutes nonstop. Scientists will hand y'all that pile of bull. This is a tax that comes out of your paycheck. If y'all work. I happen to work. I got a real job. I do go to work. I wish it was YouTube, but one day. If not, it is what it is. But um, 
So then I would do a lot of traveling, y'all. Once I get the YouTube going the way I wanted to go, I'm going to start working and just do my YouTube and travel. And I can come see y'all. I told y'all that. So you have uh, the rain. That rains for three minutes nonstop. Nonstop. They told y'all, scientists told y'all, told us. Rain is being produced in the storm. Well, that day we saw that rain, there wasn't no storm. It was a perfectly clear day, beautiful day. Rained out of nowhere. Um, there's times it rains 40 days and 40 nights nonstop. It rains so much, things flood in a matter of seconds, not minutes, seconds. You got, y'all, I've watched the rivers rise in a matter of a minute and a half, just some heavy rainfall. And the rain is not produced in the sky. It comes from up there. When it comes from up there, you have no proof. You can't even say what's causing it, where it's coming from. You just know that you got to believe what they tell y'all. It's raining. But once again, 40 days, 40 nights, one minute, straight heavy rain. Where is it coming from? You mean it's producing rain that fast? That much? Like You mean there's something going on up there magically? It's just throwing buckets of water down? Point I'm trying to make is that for years, you've been told that we are on planet Earth. And there are a million planets, so-called, up there, which they call out there. They say we float in outer space. And you telling me that... Wake up, y'all. The rain is being produced by the people that control the matrix. The people that control the matrix is able to stop the rain, bring the rain, bring the snow. I remember when it snowed in June. It was like three of us outside and we looked up and couldn't believe what we saw. There wasn't no volcano. We don't live or we, we got volcanoes around us, I'm sure. that looked like hillsides buried in trees, sleeping volcanoes that aren't even on the map. There's volcanoes that don't even look like volcanoes and they're there. They've been sleeping for years. Scientists just don't have uh, documentation of them, but they in your backyards, you wouldn't even know it. So nobody's safe. So if you wanna go to Hawaii, go ahead and enjoy it. I'm just saying, you wanna go to Seattle, go ahead and enjoy Washington State. Um, they control what goes on in the matrix, y'all. People have always said what is real. And real is only what they told you was real and what you thought and believe is not. If you go off of what they, then you cuckoo crazy. Anyway, those are the control puppets that follow suit. I don't follow suit. I did. Don't forget they don't get it fucked up. Back in the day I did follow when I didn't peep game. It was people that was my age coming up, coming out of well not coming out of high school, but just hitting high school, ninth grade, tenth grade. They was already on what was really going on, and some people took themselves up out of here. I ain't gonna say no names. You know, rest his soul in peace. He was smart, and they said it back then. I never caught on to what they were saying. Like he was smarter than he was just too smart. He offed himself. He just couldn't believe that his dreams was being pulled his whole life. Good dude, by the way, real good dude. Um, he was. Um, I will say this. He was a. Uh, um, he was Irish. He was cool, tough. Uh, 
couldn't bully him, but he had a good heart, a real good artist with the pen, pen and pencil like me. Um, but I ain't gonna take credit, dude was dope. He was better than me with the, the artwork. I'm real good at artwork, y'all. I could draw, but dude could draw. Everything that he see in his mind, he would bring it to life on that paper. He was real smart. He knew what the Matrix was back then. We, people, I've heard the word Matrix. I've heard of all kinds of, and all kinds of what I was told back when I was young. I'm finally seeing it now. From these people that was shadow banned. They was pushed off to the side. Like, they just, they didn't know. They knew some things. Now, I know some things. Everybody else following suit. They make it rain, y'all. They make it snow. They create everything that you see and you think is natural. They call them natural disasters. They're actually... I'll say man so I don't scare some people. They are man-made disasters, man-made catastrophes. The levees that broke, they broke the levees. They weren't natural. They blew them up. Um... But there's some people in the control room, y'all. This is crazy, right? They really know what's going on, but you don't. They masterminded this whole thing, and we here. This is a test run. Why you here on this test run, don't let your gas run out. Because if your gas run out, you're going to have to be pushing your hoopty, which is you. You're going to have to be pushing and when you run out of gas, it's hard to keep it going, to get it back going again, to get some fuel. You could do it because that means we don't throw the towel in. So when you run out of gas, kickstart that thing and get it going. Um, when it rains, it, um, it pours. And when it pours, it's not being accumulated in the storm like they told y'all. They place these storms wherever they want at will. Hurricanes, tornadoes. Y'all, it sounds so crazy, but they do control the weather. Um, people say, no, they manipulate the weather, and then they plan with Mother Nature, and then they're playing God. And no, y'all, listen, they make all of this. Remember what, my last video when I told y'all about the tornado, and I came back in the house like let me just say this I was outside on the porch and I'm hearing the alerts go off on the scanner and I said to myself I was always told don't conjure up something because you can you can make it come to reality but there are those that are in control that know what you thinking, know what you saying. Oh, this is what he really want? Oh, he really don't think it will bring it to him. When that tree that was in my video, it got knocked down, y'all. The tornado came. I conjured it up. I said, no, nah, this can't be. It might be right there. That looked like it right there. Oh, it was coming. Oh, yeah, that don't look right. You know, I'm doing all of that. But at the same time, I'm saying, show me something. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm doing it. I want to see it, but I don't. I seen one back in the day when I was a young buck. But then recently, this summer, y'all saw the video I posted with the tree down. I saw that. And it only lasted a brief second. But then again, that's because I only stayed out there for like a brief second. Maybe a split second. When them seen them trees part. And everything went foggy white not black like y'all see in the movies where they show it's all dark it was daytime out and tornadoes do kick up and pull up dust but the ground was so dry we haven't had any rain there was no dust and stuff to pull up no mud to throw up and darken the sky the sky y'all it was just and i knew that the eye of the storm was over over the house and like right there and i said Everybody looking for this cloud to form and looking for it to form and don't realize sometimes you could be in the eye of the storm. Y'all, there is an eye for a tornado, and I happened to see it, and it was real bright. All the dark clouds went over me, and I'm like, wow, it's real bright here. 
and it was so calm like on the outskirts it was blowing wind blowing it was kicking up and then all of a sudden it stopped that's because the eye was there so once that eye was there i don't care who studied tornadoes i'm telling y'all what i've seen when i experienced that eye was total sunshine clear skies but on the outside of the donut the donut it was dark you know, all of a sudden it got, I'm getting goosebumps, all of a sudden it got, the egg got to the edge again. And then that thing kicked up and I said, oh my, it was, oh, it was, there was no, it was right there. And it just blew the trees, part of the moon, you heard trees cracking, lightning went boom and I hauled it in the house. Come back outside, the tree was down, y'all listen, down in seconds, seconds the tree was down. Block the whole street, they ain't come out and do nothing for a whole week. I had to go out and attempt to cut it. And then they show up. To the rescue. Um, but so they they put these storms down at will. Um, when I get the episode and the, the series and the, well the series is Star Trek the Next Generation, and I'll get the actual season and the episode, what episode it was. And I'm going to get the one where uh, the captain of the ship, not William Shatner, which was Captain Kirk. This one was my homie, uh, uh, Jean-Luc Bacard, was played by Patrick Stewart. He said in one of the episodes, he said, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna beam down over here. And this show was out in the 80s. He said, we're going to beam down over there on sector so-and-so. And they said, but we got to wait because... They, not they weren't, but he said they were putting down these storms at will. They control the storms and they make tornadoes and hurricanes to destroy. And we're going to have to wait, wait it out until they're done. And I'm going to pull the episode up and then I'm going to tell y'all what it is. And then y'all check it out and do the research for yourself and see that they was trying to tell us then. But anyway, in the Matrix, they control everything things you see uh you know they don't control you they could tamper with your thoughts they could tamper with your mind that they can do um i don't care what nobody tell y'all they can they can make you forget something um they can put something in the way and make you trip and fall and somebody said to me man what dude i've come walking through a hallway and all of a sudden, something that wasn't there was there, and I tripped over and I fell. Not clumsy, no name, no clumsy don't run in my blood. I'm far from clumsy. I've seen things show up and appear out of nowhere. Not, I ain't talking about the spiritual, what they call spiritual, that I've seen. But I do know they open up portals and dimensions. They open those portals and dimensions up. CERN is just a little part of what... Is going on like CERN is is a little and by the way y'all CERN that CERN machine they've been had that they just now telling y'all about it because it leaked they had to say something love y'all stay blessed they make it rain